Hi and welcome to Martin's Lockdown Lessons. This video is all about one of the biggest fallacies in the golf swing. Keep your head down. Everybody hears about keep your head down. Non-golfers, oh yeah, golf, that's the game where you keep your head down. Um, biggest fallacy in the game, going to keep me in a job, which I suppose then I should say everybody should keep their head down. Uh, but let me explain. Your head is the heaviest part of your body. And if you keep it down, you keep it still. You keep it down, you keep it still, you don't move. If you've ever been unfortunate enough to wear a surgical collar, you know the one, right? neck injury, you have it around your head, neck here. Have you ever seen anybody and you see them and you see them on the street, you say, hey Bob, how are you doing? And they kind of struggle to move. Yeah, but you're trying to keep their head still so they don't do any damage. Now, if that was any good, the surgical collar would be a really useful part of golf coaching. We don't have one of those because we know as golf coaches it's not a good uh, a good definition of what a golf swing is all about so then you'll see these guys on the driving range the poor guy on the driving range has just read a book or his mate has told him that uh, hey bob you lifted your head keep your head down the reason why you hit that bad shot is you lifted your head okay let me explain let me show you a golf swing for keeping your head down Remember how heavy it is. So if I start swinging my golf club and I keep my head as still and as down as I possibly can, the problem is, is the rest of my body can't move. So I have a golf swing now that looks remarkably as if I have a surgical collar on. I can't move. The shoulders are restricted, the hips are restricted, the legs are restricted, I can't swing the golf club very far back. Trust me, when you try it, You'll hit some shots, you'll hit them bad, and your mate Bob, you lifted your head. So the important thing is it's got to keep your head down, you need to keep your head up, you need to keep your chin up, you need to allow your head to move. Watch some of the best players. Slow motion, even the, the likes of Jack Nicholas, Tiger Woods, when they swing the golf club backwards and forwards, trust me, their head is moving. And only when the head is moving can everything else of you then start to work. Your shoulders, your back, your hips, your legs, your arms, every part of your body creates a lot more freedom as we start swinging backwards and forwards. Now don't get me wrong, keeping your head down is something we don't like. Watching the ball, very important. And there's a big difference. You watch your ball with your eyes, you don't have to keep your head still to watch the golf ball with your eyes. Once you've hit it, Where's it gone? Turn your head, enjoy the shot. At least you'll know when to walk. Hope that makes a lot of sense. Don't keep your head down. I'll see you again soon. Stay safe.